experience a little bit quicker. Do you remember the Cassidy days? I don't know if the Hobbit Awards scout or Fofo, like, remember when we just had Cassidy being played left, right, and center, Doombi was in the league, and like, yeah, man, crazy days. Anyway, biggest point is Cassidy is no longer there. I'm losing my marbles a bit because it's still early. I'm just trying to get it all out before the next it's still series. It's still early. It's 11 p.m. It doesn't matter. 11 p.m. AM. It doesn't matter. We wake up early. You are a gremlin, gremlin. I, I normally wake up at 8 or 9, to be fair. It's just that extra couple of hours before makes me a bit loopy, you know? And so I just got to get it out before we get into the next year. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing it. Anyway, uh, LNG, Varus first pick, so Gala's going to be on Varus TV again. And they will go towards this way, which I guess, when Hung is on your team, and you have Varus as a pairing, that could technically be flexed down to the bottom side. I hear in the LPR, I feel like it's almost exclusively in the mid lane. Oh, well, alright, well, my outside. My question may be answered immediately. It might just be uh, Scout uh, getting his hands on it. Uh, and they will just remove the potential of that nonsense going on. Uh, and it does kind of mean if Iwandi is willing to, can find a very strong counter. And there's the Rumble, which is also another champion, we sure. Uh, and I've been mm. seeing kind of pop up uh, in the support role more and yep. more. And with the Renekton there, you'd have to imagine that it just is the answers of the doors. I feel like WE are like, hey, let's just go all early again. Let's go for these lanes and let's just blow them out of the water. Like, maybe similar to OMG, but maybe more explosive within the lanes. That WE are now putting a timer on themselves already, Jumata, it feels like. If they start taking away some tools, that can help start the back line and maybe be a nuisance from Weiwei. Yeah, exactly. Uh, OMG as well, also moving away to six. So they don't want to deal with the potential of, like, the double, uh, you know, demolition squad, maybe hung. Uh, goes on to something like Volley Bear early with it as well, and then you just yeah. really turn into uh, a completely different team where you're destroying those towers with the threat of dives. And always on the thing. WE. What's the next jungle ban? Because you have to remember they also need a jungle up. Get rid of buy. So. Mm, okay. so they don't want to trim it down too much. Maybe. I feel like because LNG can also remove away a jungler that they don't feel like they want to deal with. Uh, but instead they go towards the AD because they are not sold on this Tristana going into the hands of Stay. And in all fairness, I don't necessarily blame them because off the top of my head, Stay a lot more about the gyms, a little bit more yeah. uh, about kind of utility picks overall. So a departure from that and on towards that Zaya last game was definitely a little bit our character for what we've seen from him. And huh. speaking of utility, there you go, uh, early center. And that could be straight up fasting, right? You could just basically have support center here center with from, rumble. Uh, farming up as well on the bottom side. I guess you can also, like, just to flip this around and maybe play a weird Devil's Advocate as a way way to showing us what's in his champ pool, which could just be the simple Zin Zhao. Um, mm. There could also be... A great one, by the way. You, yeah, I was going to say, like, how do, how do they deal with him late game? When's the damage going to come from? How do you actually stay in combat with this LNG lineup? Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty rough. There's two really, really reliable forms of engage. And three damage deals. So, WE could be in for a bit of a world of hurt here. What's the final rotation? It's Maokai. So this is also, also if we're you know, full mad scientisting it up here, another flex. If it does go through and get locked in, because typically it'll be the Maokai center. But then where does the rumble go? You know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of questions that will be answered once this is locked in, and it is, and stuff gets swapped around. I like what W are putting down. Will it actually be the Rumble? Will it be Mal? Looks like it's Rumble, seemingly for now. Ah, uh, really? Surely not. I, I, I mean, so, I, I, look. I know it's like triple flex for the, all these rolls, but like, you want to walk me through? I mean, sure. Rumble still can jungle quite well. It's yeah. been a while since, of course, since he's been, you know, pretty much straight up now. Uh, but still, clear speed, really good. It's more about getting past those first couple of levels where the flame spear is on a 10 second cooldown, but, uh, you know, things like, of course, the overheat giving you percent HP damage and all the rest of it really does still get you through that jungle clear really, really well. And, uh, oh, yeah. You're kind of just a slightly worse lane rumble, basically, except you just offer a lot of potential skirmishing power uh, into graves could be something that they can look to abuse but i do kind of worry about lane priority across the board uh, on their side 
Uh, and that's really where I'm kind of looking towards because for me, LNG have three very, very stable lanes and a yeah. Graves, right? So it's going to be a lot more about what, to me, uh, LNG can get done with uh, this Graves and how they'll move them around the map. And WE, I'm not necessarily saying they're going to be second to most plays, especially in the early game, but I think they're going to have their work cut out for them in finding windows to actually, you know, put in some work to make things like this Rumble uh, look really, really impressive out here in the jungle. And especially also maybe even to keep up with Graves after the first couple of recalls come through. I mean, honestly, like, as we get into the rift, and just to remind you all that, hang on, Jaios, wait, 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 Jamata. Wait. Oh. Peace has been restored. Ah, uh, yes. Ooh. Mm. Very nice. Okay. LNG win this. Playoffs. WE win this series. Playoffs. It's just a matter of getting eight. The only team secured are currently the top six. That is BLG, JDG, Top Esports, NIP, FPX, and IG, right? OMG uh, also in... Sorry, I forgot to add them in because they won the last series. So yep. three spots left remaining. Oh, stay. And as we... Yeah, look to see dredge line. Good dodge away. Five teams fighting it out for it. One of them secured here today. Then there'll be two. Super simple. If you're tuning in, I hope that helps you out. Uh, but as we said, Jamal already set up for WE. Stable lanes going up against LNG here. So they're going to have to really push the limit. And I feel like, again, for WE, Jamata, like, it's interesting to see a drop like this, considering that it could just be a knee-jerk reaction to last game. LNG just having so much early game priority that blew them out of the water and gave them limited options. Yeah, it doesn't make you wonder if that is the overall vibe, the case here from WE's read. It's a completely different tune being sung. And I feel that, yeah, you're right. They, in some ways, may be limited, right? It looks like, to me, well, I guess Garla's got lethal tempo, so he's probably going on hit here. Yeah. But if there was a world where he goes for that lethality build, then it's like poke Varus plus two reliable forms of engage, which can then be followed up by scout and a graves. That feels really, really rough. Either way, Varus is still going to be very, very powerful. Uh, regardless of what build Garda decides to go, has hung. He's going to clear out his blue side quadrant and move up towards the top side. And again, with this Rumble Jungle, the only real difference between when it was last meta and right now, off the top of my head, was just that Flame Spear cooldown. Uh, is very much catered towards being a much better laner as he's going to wait for that war to die out and then. Now he's going to start the camp. Very Did he smart. miss that second E? Did I see? This, this, this <laughs> Maybe we'll put the two those, but um, they're very smart, you know, very big brain play from Hung. And again, on this Rumble Jungle, like, we haven't seen this for a while. And I think, you know, the attack speed getting nerfed as well was a big part of it. The, the overheat damage uh, may be some kind of part of it, but also it's just very much like Hung, who people haven't been tuning in for the split. I mean, this guy has played Mundo Jungle. This guy plays things like Trundle, like, he's crazy. Even in previous splits too, big poppy enjoyer as I want eat. Won't be enjoying any part of that Q arrow from Gala. Way we're also down bot side as well. So the WE 2v2, Shimada once again, Gala and Hung are bodying them. I mean, I know it's fasting center, but still like, bot lane is just still a good news story for LNG. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the sign of the lane, right? And now you do kind of start to see Wei Wei already looking for invades, but Top side, whilst he's doing that, Hung, he's looking to try and dive Zika, and they should have the damage to do it. Wait for the Bell of Breath, flashing away, not surviving the damage, Searing Charge does nothing, well done. First blood over to WE to kick off this game. And Gala and Hung now looking for a response down bot side with Wei Wei, but there's no dive there, Wave not big enough, and just gonna have to try again. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of feels bad for LNG. I mean, at the end of the day, Zika just teleports back, and it's only half a wave lost, and it's the on lane, right? Uh, but still, WE doing what they need to do and finding a little bit of priority and pressure somewhere. And that all comes down to the level one, right? Wayward spotted out Weiwei on his blue buff. So, uh, knows that there is no real threat of the Graves being down here. I think they also spotted him as he was walking into the jungle on the bottom side at some point too. So, yeah. Good, good job from WE and Zika. No real answer. LNG, no real answer. So far the early game off to a roaring start when it needs to be for WE. Already talked about it, but these lanes need to really kick off and 
Topside's doing well in isolation with Hung also flexing around. As uh, Weiwei now spots out Hung, speaking of the devil. Uh, there's the same level here as Smokescreen comes through. Hung is here. But luckily, Scuttle Crab's there. Gives the movement speed boost. I mean, Zick up. Flash not available, so he can't go for the engage. But they just turn it into a grub start here for LNG. All right, yeah. Let's see if Hung is able to steal away any. But that'll be the first one going over. Mm. It's like Weiwei's got that second smite charge coming up. But the problem is... Full rotation here from WE, so there's five members here. Gala's on the bottom side, so it'll be a one for two overall. That's, um, that kind of feels worth getting the EXP from the first grub, denying three in a rotation, giving Gala this massive push in bot. Like, that's probably a plate, Jamada, and honestly, I'd say for the Varus lane, that's kind of worth. Yeah, I definitely agree with you as well. Hello there. And LNG, they might even be able to kind of just keep the remainder of WE away, so this just ends up being a completely split map state. Oh my god. But, uh... Born experience. Ow! Yeah. Oh. Nice try of a CC. Wayward almost dies, but it's no cigar, and he's also going to get a plate off this too, so WE are definitely more than off to the races in top side. They are set up. But this is going to be a game about how fed LNG can get Gala and I won. He okay. Uh, I go. Well. My Dolo even. My Steps man. underneath the tower. He just doesn't care. Gets does he? the wave. No, no, he's, he's good, he's good, he's alright. And uh, LNG, the cross map is in full effect. This is effectively just a, a split map at this point. And you will pick up two plates, the dragon. Do uh, and W will continue to accelerate their Renekton. And again, this is just going to be a big old battle of the croc versus the Darken Man. That's pretty much it. My only real concern is I feel like LNG just have a much better comp one-to-one -one later on. But there's a lot of utility inside of WE's composition. And that can't be understated. Oh. Oh. As a, oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Okay. Oh, man. Someone right. threw up the court emoji. Did you, did you see who was it the other week in LEC who flashed into a wall the queue? I, Do you, uh, week I, one, I, I think it was. It. I oh, missed it, unfortunately, but uh, I'm sure if I saw it, I would remember. <laughs> you would. I'll tell you, I'll tell you though, I think it, it might, oh, maybe it was Targa, I'm not sure if I'm just throwing shade for the sake that it was KC, but um, yeah, dude, that was, that was something. There's been a lot of Nautilus plays this split, and I don't know why, probably because he's like a first pick chair, but just everyone in their kitchen sticks playing it as uh, Weiwei, now getting invaded topside with Weiwei just moving in. I mean, this Renekton is strong. Weiwei giving respect. Blue buff just going to be stolen from under his nose, and there's nothing they can do. Hung gets it, while Fofo and Stay just cover in case anything happens topside, but there's no way LNG are touching this. Yeah. Not so bad so far. WE getting most of what they want, all things considered. And again, you know, whilst, at least for me, at flat value, looking at the compositions, I feel like LNG are kind of okay with this game state, right? You still have to feel like WE have to push the envelope a little bit more, right? You know, like, to try and really make LNG feel uncomfortable because so much is kind of baked into LNG's composition here of we can wait till 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. And whilst, you know, they don't necessarily have a smolder, on hit Varus, uh, you know, Graves being in the game, two frontliners, yeah. WE don't really have a tank killer. Right, like a true and tested like frontline killer, unless they set Orn so far behind that he simply can't survive. Uh, you know the, the upfront damage that WE will eventually have, and that's what it's going to really be about. How WE set up mostly through Iwandi, right, uh, on this Maokai to then supplement the rest of the damage dealers on this WE lineup. While we are looking at Iwandi, can I just point out Stay? I know he's level five because again, fasting center. He's been roaming a lot, but he hasn't actually been moving through that many lanes as far as i know i'm curious about the soul check because with all that time not only out of lanes seconds. but outside of it that, that is abysmal is it not depth charge coming through okay maybe not as bad as i said but under turret nice dive but Weiwei might be traded flashes away and i want he stays standing and stay is now dead as the equalizer way just knows he's dead walks into it doesn't want to give it to fofo in the end and hung picks up a kill in jungle all right well LNG attempt to cross map, but they actually get answered out a little bit by WE there in the extended because WE had enough members around from downtown. They make that one work. WE, I really want to just see them continue to punish Zika 
on this top side. Wayward also has uh, a Black Cleaver completed, so just that isolated 1v1 is going to be a lot stronger for him. But yeah, had the members here, able to react. They're not really in a position to punish top. So they come down here, but great dive by LMG. Weiwei has to flash, and because he has to flash off of that, there's actually a ward there. Oh, it comes down, and they're able to pick him off as we come out of the replay. But again, Riley was best good. Dreadline almost connect. Maybe Fofo would have died, but maybe Hung would have regretted it with Hung over the wall as well. Gala now joins in, and LNG are moving up towards these grubs, which have already started off by Weiwei. But again, for WE, they don't want to give it over, but maybe they have to. With everything used in that bottom side just before, the Jamata LNG denying the five, six grubs. Feels like a, a really good start of this game. Yeah, that's kind of a big deal. Like, grubs again. Oh, hello. Let's swing and a miss. Uh, WE, though, because they do miss it, they do avoid it. They are going to get a grub themselves, but three for three. Still not the end of the world, as uh, Hung is able to benefit off the experience as well and get himself a bit more gold in his back pocket. So, movement up for the grubs. Now, next up is Dragon that LNG already started off with this game. 45 seconds till we look towards what side. Gala's down there by himself in the minute, so he'll be able to again. jump in this wave. Maybe the next, and yeah, like you're accentuating again, right? A lot of solo XP being given to him as... Uh oh, here we I've go. I've seen this one before. Indeed, we have. Searing Charge is good way with taking up, but he's fine. Man, top lane experience for Zika. Oh, this is what we wanted from WE, plain and simple. It's just more gold into the Rumble, into the uh, into Renekton. They know they're not going to get this dragon. They just kind of accept it and go for the pre-planned play. And yeah. now, even if they don't have the ultimates, they can try and match this dive, right? Even if uh, the tower falls, then maybe, again, they can have numbers for the actual play itself. And Zik is going to have to teleport to the play and be behind. Are they a bit too behind on tempo, though? That's the real question. I think the answer might be yes. So the dragon might just go down, bro. Regardless, uh. hung. There's no bolting. Yeah, I mean, the, without the Rumble Equalizer, Gala backing away though. They believe in the smite and he does get it. Hung now zones off. Change corruption follows through, but you're right. The pick does come through in the end. It goes to Hung once again. Four kill Rumble now on the board as Wei would even move down for this as well. Giving a bit of solo time for Zika to absorb whatever wave he could get up in the top lane. Yeah, exactly. I mean, still feels okay. It's not like the most over the top thing for WE to get back, but mm -hmm. again, at least they get something back, right? And that cross map play happens so early before the dragon spawn that they're able to also pick up an additional kill. More gold into the Rumble's back pocket. And Hung, 4 0 and 1 on this Rumble. He's going to be a monster yeah. in these mid game fights already at the item and a half plus uh, the Sorks. So very, very much online. And again, it's about all of the setup that he kind of has around it, specifically pertaining to Iwandi. The Maokai ult plus the Rumble ult is going to be such a terrifying thing to play against if you're scouting, if you're caught. Man, I will say, on the other side is uh, not important right now, is it? No, ignore me. Zik is coming in red hot and with once again the Ram Jam up and available. It just depends on where he's going to put it. Zika, where where are we going? Waiting for it. Stay just gets ulted against the wall. I want he dies. Stay now dies as well. It's a snipe. They give it to Scout. Well done. Zika playing his role perfectly. Well, at least for WA on the other side, Fofo is going to get this turret push in. But look, TP to cover. Way, way to cover as well. Big play from LNG. Get gold on their carries. Yep, exactly. Now that the carries have a little bit more gold, the game feels a little bit more even in that regard, right? Even though WR leading in total gold a lot of that gold is just front loaded into hung right now and the jungle matchup itself in isolation doesn't really matter yeah come into the replay and yeah just we trying to extend get some plates in great dredge line to secure the play and of course i won the in the long run and then stay has to stay put whilst he just gets all this all in or no it doesn't get to play the game poor guy and then scout gets donated and kill on top of that so LNG finding a little bit of gold back in their pockets where they want it. WE though, it still feels like have priority, right, across the map. And as they should with these champions and the matchups they find themselves in. And another good set of lane assignments does also mean Wayward might be able to just straight up rotate to the top side if he wants to. But we'll just take a back seat. Was potentially worried about getting pincered on. Yeah. It's a moat game is strong as well today. As 50 CS in the lead, by the way, this Renekton. So while again we're talking about, you know, like WE have a, a condition in the jungle, like they've still got strength even through mid lane with the CS lead. Top is out of this world at this point. 
This Renekton is huge. Look at Wayward's gold. It's more than the four kill rumble in jungle. Like, carry on my Wayward son. G Gala is the only one close to matching that. But as we were saying, if Wayward gets on the carries now at level 11 with flash available, they're just dead. Gala luckily has cleanse, but like, Wayward's squishy, Scout's vulnerable. It's, it's, I think it's going to be hard in the mid game here playing against WS Comptumata because the amount of tools they have with the lead, I mean, gold feels more relevant when you have such a strong mid game power spike, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. And LNG, you know, it's on hit Varus. Varus needs a little bit more time to ramp up. It's not like that it. front load of a burst damage that you'll get from Lethality. And Huey, even though I was bigging him up in the last game, as this turret charge will come through, you know, he does need. A little bit of time before he becomes a true almost like you know solo carry and in fact some people would even argue he does need to be a little bit uh, accelerated really uh to match up to the power of some of the other s tier mid laners in the air right now and that's for graves well graves is graves is hunt it's oh, the flash he's what the soul in the fight. Okay. Is he? Oh. i think he's just dead wow burned down god hung is strong oh, despair how sad is it? Ooh. Well, I want to eat. Severing Bolt doesn't connect, Scout. And I'm not going to put it in the right place, but naturally, uh, WE find another pick again. They're not really halting the aggression here. Is It's only a few members that have to do it, Jamada. WE just have to walk around with the Renekton, with the Rumble. Like, that's enough. They can probably 2v3, 2v4 in some regards even as well. They're still so damn strong, and, and WE still have control of the map. This is still their early game mistake. Exactly it is. Towers across the board, specifically mid and bot, right? And they're lower and lower. Herald almost took down that mid tier one. So anytime WE feel like they want that mid priority, they can just force the numbers and probably get it. Uh, now what they really need to worry about, of course, that dragon, 20 seconds. The reset timers, I was gonna say a little bit later, Wayward will teleport down. He's got Sterax on this reset. And also I think important to note, Hung has Void Star. So he's got two full completed items. And there's not really a whole bunch of MR to work with to begin with from LNG. So uh, it's just going to up the efficiency even more of those sort boots and then also negate any forward ball uh, magic resist later on in the game. It just seems like a, a disaster walking to WE right now, but LNG at least have river control and are trying to dictate the pace here. A pick off, good fierce, every bolt stretch line onto Iwandi. That's one of the front lines there. It's collateral damage. Where is it? Not there. And Wei Wei, of course, it's on a cooldown, I believe, actually. But there was no chance of him throwing it out as they get a pick onto Iwandi. The damage done, but he has TP, Jamata. Yeah, that's the problem. It's not really your traditional sport, right? It's more like a... Yeah, it's kind of just a weaker laner with Teleport running around playing Maokai. There he is. Now they could find Iwandi. Excuse me, that's not Iwandi. That's Scout who's coming in, actually. And for WE, Wayward's isolated. Gets a heal up. Oh my god, Renekton things! Weiwei almost dies. I mean, that kill had to be taken regardless. Hung, unfortunately, gets a shutdown, but Popo is going to get mid. Well, Dragon has started on the other side. Let's shift camera yeah. down, see what's going on, because the Equalizer comes out. I mean, Weiwei being so low, he has to go farm up and heal up. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, he's going to be full health once he comes off the Krugs, but still a bit awkward. Hung on the side. He engages there, but I mean, Hung is going in when no one else is. They're going to try and get Dragon now, burst it down, but now the numbers are even. The smite through. Luckily picked up by LNG as they move the top point, but will it be worth it? A root down onto Zika. Bellowing Breath saves his life as Hong tries to poke him out. Oh, Chains dropped him with the turnaround. It's a big shutdown, and it goes over to Gala. He got baited in. He thought he could find the kill, but that's so worth for LNG now. Yeah, I mean, W really should just be playing for, at best, a potential steal away on that dragon, but Hung slowed up, I think, by the uh, ultimate from Hui as he was trying to return back from killing uh, that diving Nautilus isn't able to secure it and WE honestly still even though they lose that dragon the shutdown goes over it's a bit awkward at the end of the day they kind of get quite a bit they got that mid lane tower they got both mid lane towers I think actually that I think about it two towers in the mid lane a couple of camps stolen away as well a lot of gold injected into both of back pocket on the side of this play and I think that's what's slowing hung down it's this ultimate it kind of just stops it from getting in range I think even if he wasn't slow he probably would have been quite in time try and go for 50-50 with Weiwei. Either way, just overextending and getting flipped on by. This Varus almost shut down. 900 gold injected into that Varus. Yeah, now he's got that Gwinsu's. He's going to probably be a lot quicker to a second night and then 
Well, I guess there's no one really to compare him to in the game uh, besides maybe Fofo, I, I suppose, is the only other AD carry uh, on an income. It. Okay, he's all right. He's good. Baron spawns now, by the way. Uh, and as we ta you're talking about that virus, I mean, all almost onto the third. Just picked up a Rico bow as well, by the way. So look at, wait, was there another kill? Fofo died. What? Kind of insane. They just wanted to show it. Is he dead? He's actually dead. Wait, wait, has the damage, isn't he? Wait, did he die? Well, he has wait. one death. So, yes, he did die. Yeah, he was die. in the replay. Why did, why did we not see the end of... Uh, anyway. Uh, okay. Thank you. We'll leave that for another day. Anyway, you know what? That's another big pick. And as you said, you know, like the map play from WE has been setting them ahead. But now they have to get forced into a fight. 5v5 coming up next. And LNG had the flexibility of things like the Baron as well with the double AD carry with the on-hit virus. Way does Baron quite quickly as well with his consistent DPS. So Jamada, like the LNG options here in game two are quite high. Despite WE getting such big lane leads throughout the map. It, it feels like, again, LNG have just been able to cruise through and, and get some of these trades to lead them into this position. Yeah, and I think what makes them feel really stable is the fact they've been able to pick up all of these dragons as well. Yeah, but it does kind of put now this soft timer on WE to really think about how they can take fights, because once that Ocean Soul comes in, sure, you've bullied this Orn for a majority of the game, but he's going to be an Orn with Ocean Soul, right? Same thing for Nautilus uh, on this front line, and even to a point, Gray's oh, very tanky stay. Line. Hung on an engage tool, man. When he's firing, there ain't quite nothing like it as Gala picks up another kill and now mid is just going to drop down with the threat line. Oh, man. Follows again. Hung is fishing today. And there ain't nothing WE can do. The bottom line this is destroyed. Be Barry. They can just start it. Yeah, I mean, Fofo, really, really powerful, right? Zero uh, with all of this gold. He's going to be able to find a second item, but WE, three versus five. Almost all ultimates up from LNG. Wayward. Oh, Wayward's big. Wayward can actually 5v2 this. I mean, with the help of his jungler, never mind. Excuse me, but Hungus oh. turns him down. He's winning the fight himself. He's still Oh my there. god. But Fofo, what the hell is he doing? He just ulted him out. That could have been another one. Hung and Fofo now on the Baron TV coming through. I mean, they can no start it themselves. I mean, yeah. yeah I, LNG just got minced, man. That was insane. Like you said, you know. Dividends being paid off there from Wayward being so strong, and then all of that damage from Hung on the back end. WE get themselves a Baron, but I will say, you know what also happened last game? WE got a very cheeky early Baron, and it didn't amount to too much, so let's see. I mean, Wayward just buys so much time being so tanky. He eats two ultimates, maybe even three, at the end of it, and then Flamespitter comes in, Fofo as well. Holy. It's just so much damage. And yeah, you're right. The Buster shot buffered <laughs> so early. I, I just, yeah. A bit of a misclick, perhaps. But still, damage done. And WE able to secure I that Baron. As I want the, uh, I agree. Poked out yeah. a bit. Is he going to get caught out again is my question. I mean, as we get up for this Dragon Soul, WE had the Baron, but a few members to pick it up in the end. Not the whole team. Trying to look and see who has it. Am I wrong? Four members have it actually. Nature's Grass flies out and Zick is going to front line this for the time being. Searing Charge puts him back into position. Equalizer is across in front of the Dragon Pit, but no damage really there yet. LNG is still doing this Dragon. Hung is no, nowhere nearby. They've it's an it. Ocean Salt for a DPS team. Thank you so much. You know what? LNG going to go for the team fight because why wouldn't they? Stay as the flash away. And WE, if you fight this, note that the Ocean Salt is going to give them a hell of an edge. As the souls just taken in front of their eyes. Yeah, I mean, now, you know, picking up the Baron, it's it's kind of bittersweet because if you're against a permanent buff, if you're not able to take away at least, you know, an outer tower or an inner tower, then it just feels horrible. And all you really got from it was all the XP, of course, and the gold. LNG, very happy to just kind of neutralize now for the next 90 seconds until that Baron's off the card. So W really needs to put... Uh, Put some pressure down and try and take away whatever gold they can with the remainder of this Baron buff. Mm. They need something. They need the map to be more open. I mean, Fofo's been permanently sidelining this game. Like, Jamada, all he's been doing is playing for turrets. But the problem is, inners still aren't down here in this game. Only mid for the time being. He's shoving towards mid with the Baron buff. Now being utilized by W in the bottom side. But TP from LNG dissuade that push. But they've got to look towards mid because Fofo again channeling in with a wave. Gala now matches it as WA trying flex and push and pull, playing between bot and mid. 
Yeah, I mean, the good thing for LNG is they've got a lot of strong wave clear, and Way's wave clear in particular is very, very non interactive. Even yep. against Baron Buff, it does kind of chew through the wave. So now Kyle comes Crap. through. He well. It's that. a lot of damage. But they got Ocean Salt. So, yep. I mean, Just all they have to do matter. is. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't. Fofo doesn't get anything mid. Now tries for top side. So again, he's uh, that push and pull, a key phrase for what WE are trying to do, but the wave far off, Baron's down in 10 seconds. Someone needs to just slowly move up to the top lane and it shouldn't be a problem as LNG hold off on the Baron push. He doesn't get any more than the initial gold play. And even though it's a 4K gold lead for WE, I mean, again, Jamada set it up for a draft. Like this is a comp for LNG. You've got Orn, you've got Graves, Way, you've got a lot of good scaling. Jamada, there's a lot of good team fighting coming up that we've already seen come into fruition. Even though a lot of these carries didn't have the three items they have now, or didn't have the, the frontline Orn with almost two items himself that can absorb the damage. Yeah, like the only real good thing for WE is that like Fo -sh Fofo should be pretty hard to lock down with the rocket jump, with flash, with Buster Shot, uh, even with all the CC available to LNG, he can really get away from it. But the person I worry about, even though he's now picked up his Onyas, is Hung, right? He can be so, so vulnerable to Mount, uh, to Orn ults, to uh, Norla ults. And if he has to stasis either of those and WE aren't in a position to really stand their ground, stuff just gets really awkward very, very, very quickly. Yep. So I do hope that for WE, if they are to find a successful fight, it is through Hunk. And they are the ones that try and pull the trigger first. Through and I won the engage into Hunk follow-up. And then maybe Fofo can do some work as well. But as we've kind of... Also previously up. stated, Fofo has simply just been on the side lanes. He yeah. shows up when an objective is there, but other than that, he is just farming on the side lane. Two level lead at the minute between him and Scout. Scout could be close to level 15. As I say, right. he does take over on that bottom wave, but Fofo, three items, very, very powerful. W need, need to put him to work as much as they have been hung. Whenever you talk about hung, I mean, the whole game, I've just been, I'm like, Oh yeah, that one, right? It's, it is. It is the hardest thing. Like it's like putting Xiao Hao and Xiao Hu in the same team. And you isn't, know, isn't the the best the best thing about both their names, as far as like pronouncing it with the proper Mandarin infliction, is that it's yeah. prac. Like if you're not a Mandarin speaker, it's it practically sounds the same. I mean, it's still it's kind of is. between its own. Whoa, like, way with big. Wow. Wow. Yeah, flash, but Weiwei still gets out. I mean, Ocean Soul gives him a bit of leverage, and Wei would flash for that. Ain't uh -oh. no way, car. As uh -oh. Hung goes to the re-engage, I want he's by himself. Zika has to flash out. What are we experiencing? Oh my god. Uh -oh. No more as Wait, Hung Ooh. still burns. Scout uh -oh. flashes forward. Close to more is out. There's a shutdown. Dude, we are every which way. Looking at five different camera angles for a big fight. Jake, fine. Jake, they have a wave. I think it's in hip hop. Uh, uh, <laughs> nah, nah, get me out. Get me to the next game. Fofo, that was his impact in the game. <laughs> Alright, uh, if he wants it to be over, let it be over. No, I, I need to open a co-stream and listen to the reaction of the rocket jump or something. What did he just do? <laughs> All right. Well, I guess LNG just have Baron now. I. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. W E W. I'm more than anything, Jake. I'm simply disappointed. I I can't even lie. I am simply disappointed. Wait, wait. He's here, clearing the spot wave. It feels like W E just imploded on that play, completely and entirely. If this was there, was that? Elders up in 40 seconds. And let's just. Yeah, look. I mean, the it's initial idea done. is not it's too bad. bad. Yeah, it, it's really, really not. It's it's fine, but you know, Wayward flashes, doesn't find a connection. Iwandi, you know, he's committed to the play, he gets run down, I think, by Gala. Maybe the last arrow connects and kills yeah, him. It's you know, just a flash over the wall. And then turn around, they find Weiwei, so like, cool, that feels nice. Kung does die. And Fofo going over the wall. I don't know. That's strange, 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 strange. W do have control over the river for now. I just feel like LNG with Baron don't really care as long as they know that Elder isn't being taken down. Why would you care? They Look just at the pull range. the trigger. That's not even Poke Varus, by the way. It's on here as they run the front to back. I mean, this is their bread and butter. This is the beauty of their comp. 
LNG with Ocean Salt unkillable. Scout is dealing with the Croc. The Croc that was such a big threat no longer. Hung is now going to have the 1v5 again like he did in previous fights. But it feels like the timer on that is gone as well as Elder sits there waiting. And Wayward on the back of the pit is spotted out by Scout. Who is ready to snipe him down. Wayward just charging at them because they're unkillable. Jamada, they are unkillable, man. Hung is going to get charged up. It's over. It was over as soon as WE couldn't end the game about 10 minutes ago and stared at the soul in the face, hoping by transitive properties it would just go to them instead. Nah, I think it was over when Fofo Rocket jumped over the wall a bit more. That's like, true. it was still playable, but as soon as you lose the Baron right before Elder like that, it just puts things a little bit too far out of WE's hands. And someone oh, yeah. will hit something eventually to kill State. And it's Gala's arrow. That pierces the hearts of WE. And they're not going to secure playoffs today. No, it's but like LNG it'll be LNG's. <laughs> exactly, it'll be LNG's <laughs> day. L L LNG deserve it. To, to be fair, though, like, with all the, the jokes in this game and, like, the hilarity, LNG this series have been pretty switched on. I think game one was a great example. There were a couple of mistakes. They threw away the game a little bit, but, like, they were the better team overall in the series. They have been the better team, I think. Um, and, and Jamata, you know, like when playoff race is coming through for LPL, when there are so limited spots left, five teams vying for three spots. LNG are going to be taking one of them here today. Eight is the magic number. WE have to fight another series on another day and hope that they can get the magic number themselves. But as they look at their final place defense against the Elder, it ain't going to work out. Is that Equalizer hits absolutely nothing. And I want, he jumps to his death yet again. I want death, he says. It's now with the smoke following through, Wayward doesn't have a chance. Look for the health bars again. The range that flies through. The spiraling despair. It is at despair oh. for everyone of WE. Implosion comes through. And LNG, welcome to playoffs, buddy. It took you a while to get there. You've been a bit of a crazy squad this split. But at least you're here now. Yeah, and hopefully they can try and find some consistency moving forward into that playoffs. Top 10 secure. Feels good and a nice little spree of series, right? For uh, LNG to kind of round out their uh, spree split. One series to go, I'm talking as if they're finished. Of course, like you said, against Star 8. And that could bump them up to 9. And hey, you never know, depending on how IG. Six. Yeah, right? Depending on how IG look, they could even squeak in to top 6. Weibo, like you mentioned, could.